Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my review of the Logic 3 iStation Time Cube. This is an FM clock radio for the iPhone and iPod. Now I wanted to show you everything you get inside the box before I move on to showing you the product itself. But before I give you those details, just a very quick mention that this is being recorded with the Kodak Playtouch digital camera and also a Yoga EM1 microphone installed. Now on with the review, so this is the product box, a very simple cube type box which controls all of the bits you need to get up and running. Let's pop that to one side. Now this is the uh, time cube itself and very nice looking piece of equipment and it looks a lot better than you would expect to get for the price point. But I'll move on to the price right near the end of the review. Now also in the packaging you do get an instruction manual. This is going to tell you how to set up everything, get the clock up and running and how you can use your Logic 3 time cube. And you also get a power supply, it's a multi voltage power supply and you can install whichever end you want. So I'm in the UK so I'm going to install the three pin, oh, we do it like this like so and it clicks into place you've got a little release button here they also supply a European adapter as well so you can use it in different countries this end goes in to the time cube let's pop that to one side now what I was surprised about with this product is you only get one of these dock adapters and that sits in this way round into the actual aperture sort of fitting here and this gives you a nice snug fit for different devices but they only supply one so I was a bit dubious as to how well this would work now for my test I'm going to leave this out because I'm going to use my iPod touch inside a case but I would have expected more of these to be included in the package however it does claim compatibility with the iPhone 3GS the 3G the iPod Nano iPod Classic and the iPod Touch second generation well, I've got an iPhone 4 that I'm going to be testing on here and also a 4th gen iPod Touch. So let's get this plugged in and I'll show you how it performs. Okay, so this is the Time Cube plugged in and up and running. Now, as you can see, this is the front display and I can actually push the dimmer switch on the top. It's actually at its brightest mode at the moment. But I can push this to dim it down for night time to three different levels. So we've got the highest setting, middle setting, and the lowest setting. At its highest setting, it's still got very strange viewing angles, so you might struggle a little bit with those, but it's a nice orange on black display. And if I was to turn down perhaps this studio light, just very briefly on the right hand side, you can get to see that orange display a little bit better. So it is certainly bright enough. So let's put that studio light back up again so you can see the product a little bit better and let's have a look at the top of the unit now the top has got this 30 pin dock connector that's going to charge and also play the audio from your iPod or iPhone we've also got on this side an FM uh, button here so we can actually scan through different stations uh, one of the speakers resides on this side and then on this side we've got the volume up and down now I was expecting to see another speaker here but it's only got a single speaker in it so the sound will You'll get to hear that later on in the review. On the top, we've got some controls for the snooze button. If you want a little bit of a lay in someday, then you can hit this and it will snooze for the preset amount of time. We've also got a preset and setting button, alarm and clock, power on off, and a source button. And I'll show you how that source button works when I switch the unit on. And then around the back, we've got a little tiny FM aerial coming out the back. We've also got a line in as well, so if you haven't got an iPod or an iPhone, you can actually plug in another audio source into this input. And then this is the one that's going to the mains connection. Little rubberized feet on the bottom, and they stop it slipping around too much. And a nice Perspex front to it as well. I, I like the design of this, actually. It's a nice looking unit. Now, let's get this turned on. So when we turn it on, the display shows the source that we've got selected. Now again, I'm gonna to have to turn down this studio light very slightly so you can see this display. But if I push the source button 
on the top of the unit, it actually flicks round to FM radio or to the auxiliary input and then back around to the iPod. So let's sit this down onto a desk and we get an iPod connected. Now it does actually say that it only works with the second gen iPod Touch. Well, I've got a fourth gen iPod Touch here. So let's dock this onto the unit. Now I've got a case on my iPod Touch and it fits very nicely without using the dock connector in here. So let's get something playing back. Let's do this one here. Now this is at a medium volume, so let's turn the volume up so you get to hear it at a higher volume. So there you go, you heard at full volume, there was some distortion there. Uh, the sound isn't very full, but for a desk side, or, de or sorry, bedside I should say, alarm clock, uh, it's certainly good enough audio quality for something like that. So let's take this iPod Touch out and let's get my iPhone into play. And this is an iPhone 4. Again, it doesn't say that it supports the iPhone 4, but let's dock this onto here and it started charging and let's get something um, playing back and again we we'll turn the volume up so again a very nice audio quality obviously charges both the iPhone 4 and the 4th gen iPod touch uh, and plays the audio back from them so it is compatible with these two latest models now the Logic 3 Time Cube is available in two different colours. You can get it either in the white one that I've got here or you can get it in black. It's going to cost you £30 in the UK or $54 if you're in the US. It's got those snooze features, the alarm feature, the FM radio, the dock connector for charging and playing back audio from your iPod or iPhone and that line in in the back so you can plug in other audio sources I think that's a good value product the audio quality isn't going to match high price products but it certainly feels well made it feels nice and solid and a good finish to the product as well and the audio quality is perfectly acceptable for occasional listening well thank you very much for watching this was my review of the Logic 3 iStation Timecube please do come back soon and check out more video reviews on the Geekanoids channel. This video review is sponsored by Crucial, the memory experts. They provide reliable PC, notebook and Mac memory to boost your system performance and improve your general workflow.